Phillips neighborhood is actually the most diverse neighborhood in America, which is just kind of crazy because it's just right here in Minnesota. Um, but so there's a lot of diversity down there, um, a lot of immigrants down there, and with that, like there's a lot of poverty and crime too. When they say at risk, our kids are at risk around here. I lived in like a problem home. I had really abusive parents, you know, and stuff like that. So I ran away and I ended up staying in parks and park benches. Despite the impoverished state of the neighborhood, God's light is shining bright through the Marie Sandwich Center. We were begun in 1940 by a woman who was ahead of her time. When Marie Sandvik came here as an orphaned teenager in uh, 1919 with her sisters, she lived here, worked here, went to high school in the, in the area, went off to college, got a teaching degree, got a journalism degree in three years, went on to seminary, and she became a pastor. Marie Sandvik created a place where the homeless, impoverished, and needy could come, be fed, clothed, and most importantly, hear the word of God. As Marie Sandvik said, you can put a new coat on any man, but only God can put a new man in the coat that you gave him. I used to sell drugs all the way down Franklin. I used to just be out there selling. And then when I got pregnant, I said, God, I can't live this life anymore. You know, you got to help me. Julie began attending one of the many ministries that the Marie Sandvik Center offers. The adult ministries we have goes on year round. Whenever our doors are open to the public, it's because we're going to have a, a ministry meeting, a chapel service, or a Bible study, those kinds of things. And a lot of these chapel services are uh, put on or hosted by local churches. So many scripture truths were revealed in it yes. that you never heard no words. But when you've seen it taking place in front of you, if you knew the scripture, you knew exactly what was taking yes. place. my Those meetings are followed by a food distribution and, and a meal, and as well as clothing distribution. And I used to come here and, and ask for sandwiches and stuff like that, because they used to give sandwiches. They still do. And um, I used to come get sandwiches, and basically this is where I got my meals, you know. And we have kids ministry for kids um, K, kindergarten through eighth grades and the kids come here and we have worship time with them. We sing and then we'll break up into the different classrooms by age. So our goal is really just to communicate the message and, and live it out. Sometimes uh, we're the only gospel the kids will hear. Kids Club is so fun. You guys get to learn about Jesus. Another service they provide is the clothing room. This is a set of rooms that you can take free donated clothing from. This is a main part of the Ladies Day Ministry, which takes place every Thursday. They had a shelter, and I faked some papers to get into their shelter so that I would have a roof over my head. And I stayed there in the shelter for a while, and it actually helped me. So then I started coming, and I'm like, oh, God, i got to sit here through this whole thing. And I sat here, and I started listening more and more, and then I became, like, volunteering. Mary Beth would grab me for, like, little things. Volunteers help with the, the soup kitchen aspect with Mary Beth with the feeding. And we have feeding with all of our ministries, whether it's adult or children's. So stirring a pot, if that's something, or spreading peanut butter and jelly on bread, or cooking sloppy joes and people who like who enjoy working with children and ministering to them we have opportunities to come alongside with our K through 8 kids ministry we're here to sing we're educating yeah, that's what we're doing. and we want you guys to sing with us cause... one Saturday I was able to go and help at kids club in the morning and for that basically like we just ran around with the kids and kind of followed them to the classes or the um, like the little movie that they had and ate supper or lunch with them and it was really fun. We both go down there um, every Friday night with the ministry on campus, Streetlight, and so we, we go down there almost every Friday night. We help out with like serving food sometimes, but a, like a lot of times we just go and talk to the people down there and it's been really cool because we've just kind of gotten to get to know them 
And so we just have our friends down there and it's just really fun to like check up on them week to week. It's easier to share the gospel and be able to talk to them like after you've already established a friendship with somebody, so. They're like my friends down there and I want to hang out with them on a Friday night. In a nutshell, we are bringing the gospel and God's love to the city. Um, and when I say the gospel, I mean the message, the, the, the saving, the salvation of Jesus Christ. Even though homelessness is a harsh reality that will always be present in our world, the Marie Sandwich Center is having a huge impact on people's lives, such as Julie's. It's one of them rides that, like, when I used to do acid, you take that ride and you're on that ride and that ride's just all the way there. But when you get on that train to God, believe me, the ride is endless.